Hi, I'm Roy Moore with Ashley's Restaurants, and I'm joined with Matt Troutman of Blue Point. Blue Point is a new, relatively new brew uh, beer into Michigan, and uh, welcome, Matt. Thanks for joining us Thanks, tonight. Right. We got oh, my pleasure. Largest tap takeover for Blue Point here so far in yeah. Michigan, Michigan in, yep. in the state of Michigan. Tell us about Blue Point. What's happening with Blue Point? Uh, well, uh, lots happening with Blue Point actually. Uh, you know, we've only been in Michigan for. In, in smaller markets, uh, or, sorry, not necessarily smaller markets, but we did a slow rollout at the end of 2011. So Detroit, Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo. And we did those markets exclusively for six months. Okay. And once we got those up and running, we're now expanding our distribution to the rest of the state. So, um, but since we've been here, honestly, the product has been incredibly well received. Uh, faster, it's gone better, faster than we could have imagined. And, uh, and hey, it just shows people in Michigan here love good beer. You know, whether it's from Michigan or whether it's from East Coast, West Coast, whatever. Well, Michigan is a great beer state. And, and we salute it here at Ashley's, not just, whether we, we appreciate Michigan made beer, but we certainly appreciate good beer wherever it comes from. You, you chose the two. We've got 12 here to talk about tonight, but we're only going to focus on two. Sure. Toasted lager and toxic sludge. And we already unfortunately killed the toxic sludge, and so that's just all that's left. Sorry, guys, but that's it. Tell me about these two beers. Well, toasted lager I have to always talk about because this is the beer. If Without toasted lager, there would be none of the rest of the, our, our portfolio. Toasted lager is what put us on the map. It was the first beer we ever brewed in 1998, and it was the only beer we brewed for the first two years of the brewery's existence. So uh, it's an American style amber lager. Uh, it was kind of brewed in the spirit of anger steam in terms of the best beer that, that, that Mark and Pete could drink on the island at the time, thinking 15, 16 years ago, was fast. So, they, so there was nothing local, nothing fresh. You know, the, the best beer they could get was shipped you know, over at the time you know, when Bass was still made in Europe and shipped over. And so they couldn't do anything local. There was nothing local they could drink. But they wanted something, they loved what Fritz Maytag did with Anchor out in San Francisco. And so they wanted something really approachable, something people are, well, people are drinking bass, and it's a nice, balanced, you know, easy drinking, good beer. Uh, so but at the same time, they used this hybrid yeast that made it, it gave some ale characteristics, and was still very approachable, very sessionable. So they wanted something that the Long Islanders could drink. And, you know, honestly, once it took off in Long Island, it made it to New York City, and exploded there. And, and so we'll put us on the map. It's the best of both worlds beer. It's your domestic guy can drink toasted lager and have that offensive hop, spicy hop note to it's it. It's a sessionable IPA. We talked earlier about well, not IPA. No, it's well, a sessionable lager. It's a sessionable lager. Yeah. lager. It's yeah. a bottom fermented, but it has got some of the ale characteristics, Absolutely. and so it is more than just your light lagers and and complements a lot of different foods. And it's a very oh, tasty beer. Very, very versatile when it comes to pairing with beer. It, 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 it obviously being brewed on from you know, from where they're from in the South Shore. Long Island is meant to pair well with a lot of seafood, a lot of shellfish, clams, oysters, Blue Point oysters, obviously, where you know the name Blue Point Brewing Company came from. Um, but at the same time, with that nice, bready, biscuity sweetness you get from it, pairs well with tons of pastas and pizzas. And we've had some of our best success in Michigan at pizza joints. Like, because, again, when people come to eat pizza, they want to get full on pizza, not on their beer. They want something good to go along with their pizza. They want something they can stand up to the pizza. And I'm sorry, the lighter American lagers aren't very good. No, absolutely. They want something that's going to complement those 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 flavors. Like, yeah, absolutely. And, and so we've had a lot of success with toasted lager there. Toxic Sludge, a very interesting name. Black IP. Uh, it's funny, yeah, because we get that question a lot. Like, why would you name a beer something you want to drink, Toxic Sludge? And you know what? It, it actually is a great story behind it. And just to let people know what kind of guys Mark and Pete are. Mark and Pete are two owners of Blue Point Brewing Company. They're very into giving back, whether it's to the community, whether it's to the environment, anything like that. So, obviously everyone remembers the BP oil spill in the Gulf a couple years ago and a you know, horrible situation. And Well, since we're BP, we're Blue Point, you know, we, and a lot of people refer to us as BP, you know, especially okay. on the East Coast, um, we felt we needed to do something to help give back. So we, all right, well, since we're BP too, we're going to come up, all right, BP Toxic Sludge, and we made a black IPA. And originally it was just a charity beer. It was just a beer to... 100% of the profits were, met, were given back to helping the cleanup effort in the Gulf. And uh, the beer was so well received that, all right, well, we've got to keep this as part of our permanent portfolio. And originally the guys thought, you know, we should change the name because it, maybe Top to Sludge turns off a lot of people. Well, why would people want to drink this? But at the same time, it's, it's great to tell the story. And at the same time, 
if people aren't ready for to drink, if, if they're really hung up on a name, then maybe they're not, not ready for a black IPA anymore. So, you know, we're going to keep the name the same. And, uh, and so, black, black, Toxic Sludge Black IPA became a permanent part of our portfolio. And well, I started out my evening with a glass. I'm glad I got it because this is all that's left in the building so far. Um, and it's a, it's got a lot of uh, coffee, roasted malts, a very dark roasted malts for an IPA. Yep. And so it's not just in the color, it's in the flavoring. Very pronounced. Um, yeah, but you, still get that, but you still get that greenness from the from the hops. And exactly. It, it, and actually, a great, you know, we actually, our uh, World Expo beer was a couple weekends ago up in Frankenmuth. And, you know, it was our first Michigan beer competition we've ever entered. And uh, Toxic Slug actually, Sludge actually took a uh, gold medal in the American Ale category for specialty beer. So... You know, uh, people appreciate Michigan yeah. appreciates it, and Absolutely. and I know we had a real popular day with the Cascale Festival and your white IPA here. And, and oh, sure. Yeah, you know, people were doing one of the best IPAs here. We had that weekend. So, Matt, thanks for visiting. Oh, thanks, thanks for, for bringing having your us great beers so. to Michigan. Uh, yes. We keep look forward to exploring more BP beer. We're, beer here. we're excited Ashley. to be here, and uh, as long as you guys keep drinking, and we'll keep bringing it. So, uh, thanks. So, cheers. Cheers. Thank you very much. Happy. It's not Thanks. okay. It's not